सो है एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक अगेन टू द चैनल माई नेम इज़ अमर्थ एंड आई हैव जस्ट गिवन माई फाइनल ईयर एम बी बी एस एग्जाम्स एंड नाउ आई एम हेयर राइट नाउ फ्रॉम अ वन मंथ ब्रेक फ्रॉम माई फाइनल एग्जाम्स टू हेल्प यू आउट एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर ऑल दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव जस्ट क्लियर देयर सेकेंड ईयर एंड हैव कम इन टू द थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी एस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ यू शुड अप्रोच यूर थर्ड ईयर सो दैट यू कैन रीड द फाइनल ईयर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल्सो इन द थर्ड ईयर and this video is not about how you should study the third year subjects rather this video will be focusing on how you can read the final year subjects in your third year itself so that it will help you in the final year because final year is itself hectic and you have a lot to read so you must read some of those topics in the third year itself because third year is relatively easier and has fewer subjects as compared to the final year so let's begin the video so as we all know that third year has fewer subjects as compared to the final year so third year has community medicine forensic medicine and toxicology ophthalmology and ENT but in many of the batches as the 21 batch has only FMT and the community medicine in their syllabus and i don't know what is about the uh, coming batches what they have in their syllabus but i will be uh, assuming that FMT community medicine ENT and optha all are in the third year so apart from completing the third year which i will be discussing in another video that how you should approach the third year subjects i will be telling about how to approach for the final year subjects in the third year itself so in the final year you have four major subjects general medicine general surgery ops and gynae and pediatrics apart from the these four subjects you also have some short subjects like orthopedics radiology anesthesia dermatology and others now i will start from the major subjects that is the four medicine surgery ops and gynae and pediatrics so let's start from the general medicine part so coming to the general medicine about the general medicine what i would say that you should focus on clearing as much units as you can but i would not force you to complete all the units because it's already hectic in the third year to read the community medicine and the other subjects but my advice would be to complete at least 2 to 3 units in the third year itself and that to not the major like the cardiovascular or the neurology because they are very vast subjects and in the third year you will be reading it but i know uh, many of will be read like uh, doing it for just for the sake of completion so i would say ki don't do that just for the sake of the completion of the subject or the topic rather learn it and uh, understand the topic so for that i have chosen some easier topics in the medicine that you can complete in the third year and are easier to understand and don't require your much amount of time so at least you should do the rheumatology the nephrology and the git part because these three are very easier they are comparatively shorter as compared to the cardiovascular or the respiratory or the neurologic so these are smaller topics they are easier to understand and you can retain them and in the final year when you will start revision they will help you in the revision also so my advice would be that you should complete the git nephrology and the rheumatology so these three must be completed in the third year according to me and rest if you want to do you can do but uh, i think these three are enough and uh, rest is as per your convenience if you want to do you can do and as per the sources are concerned you can read from your coaching material if you have already taken the marrow dams preparator or any other coaching material if you have taken you can read from there and uh, it will be helpful and uh, in the some other video i will be telling you how i uh, started my preparation for my neat pg and what coaching i took and from where i took so i will be discussing in that another video but for as of now you can start reading from uh, anywhere you want to uh, start if you have taken the marrow or any other coaching platform then you can start from there or you can start reading the books as for the reading the books is concerned i wouldn't say that you should go for the harrisons or davidson uh, you can but it's uh, not recommended by myself because it it's really uh, tough to read harrisons but i will uh, also discuss how to read the harrisons part because i have read myself in, during my exams uh, uh, for preparation of my notes but that too was not like line by line reading was not my uh, approach to read the harrisons so we'll be discussing in some other video but you can start reading books also because as i have already said that reading books is far more better than reading something else right so reading books is always a priority if you can you should and if you cannot it's okay if you cannot you can use the uh, coaching materials because ultimately you have to understand and you have to gain the concept from where ever you can but if you ask me where should you start i would say if you have the coaching material start from the coaching material and along with it you can go for the archit bulur sir's textbook of medicine it's a very great book 
and will help you in the exams also if you have semesters of the final year in the third year or in the final year itself they are going to help you a lot because it has answers written it in the form of that you can write in the exams they are great so you can go for that but, but if you want to take the concepts and complete the topics then i think your coaching material would be enough as well right so coming to the surgery part so as per the surgery i wouldn't say that go for the uh, git or anything because git is itself a very huge topic and you don't need to do that so if you can complete you can go for the general surgery it's uh, not so extensive it's not so much of time consuming so you can go for the general surgery in the third year i did the whole of the general surgery it depends on as per your convenience so general surgery my advice would be complete the general surgery in the third year mbbs right now so coming now to the obstetrics and the gynecology i would say complete obs or gyne any of uh, the two so i completed obstetrics in the third year because when i was uh, going to the clinical rounds that was the case that the obstetrics was more helpful as compared to the gynecology because we had to do the leopold maneuvers and other examinations mostly of the pregnant women and that's where the obstetrics comes to help if you can complete the whole obstetrics well and good if you can't at least do the initial some part of the obstetrics that is also more than enough i think so obstetrics or gynecology you can do both but my advice would be go to the obstetrics and complete it if you can do the whole of the obstetrics very well and good if you can't at least do the 50% of it it will be very helpful and it will make your final year much easier so that was all about the obstetrics and the gynecology now coming to the pediatrics pediatrics and medicine these two have many much similarities when coming to the systemic part like the cardiovascular respiratory so as per the third year is concerned you don't need to complete the whole of the pediatrics just complete the neonatology right complete the whole of the neonatology and that's very important because after your neonatology part is completed most of the part of the systemic pediatrics will be completed by the medicine itself so it's okay if you can do the uh, neonatology only because in the final year you will be reading whole of the medicine and many of the part of the pediatrics will be completed so although there are many much uh, differences in the systemic part also but uh, eventually it will cover up and you will also learn the systemic pediatrics in the final year so as per the uh, initial in the third year what you should study is concerned then neonatology is more than sufficient for you all so summing up the final year subjects that you should complete in the third year coming to the general medicine you should complete at least 2 to 3 units like the nephrology rheumatology and the git because they are easier to remember now coming to the surgery do the general surgery part if you can do whole well and good you can at least do the 50% also of it and the uh, obs and gyne complete at least one unit obs or gyne but i would say my advice would be go for the obstetrics and complete as much as you can if whole of the subject is covered well and good at least do 50% also because in the final year that's going to help you a lot and now coming to the pediatrics pediatrics complete the neonatology in the third year itself and rest of the systemic will be covered in the final year by the medicine if you can't do in the pediatrics in the medicine they will be covered but i would say cover the systemic pediatrics also in the final year but as per the third year con is concerned go for the neonatology completed so these were the final year major subjects now coming to the short subjects like the orthopedics anesthesia dermatology radiology so my advice would be that you don't need to study these shorter subjects in the third year itself because in the final year you will be reading that and these final year these short subjects are very uh, volatile and as per my experience i didn't study a single short subject in third year but as per your convenience if you want to if you are interested you can go for it but already these major subjects will be taking a lot of your time and there are the third year subjects also so i guess you can avoid the uh, final year short subjects like the ortho and the derma and the rest of the subjects so i guess the major subjects that i have already told medicine pedia gyne and the surgery they are more than enough for you to complete the third year itself so that will make your final year more easy so this was all about in this video and if you really like this video drop a like and comment below if you have any queries also a very important update for all of you guys that i have made a new telegram channel from where you can download all the pdfs i will be uploading or i have already uploaded in the earlier videos so that it will be easier for you to download rather than going to the google drive links i have already given in my telegram channel and link of this uh, telegram channel i have already posted in the community post but i will be also giving this link in the description so you can go and check that out and join the telegram channel for all the updates of this channel and all the help you can ask me in that channel also or you can comment down in the comment box 
सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो आई होप यू रियली लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू रियली लाइक दिस वीडियो लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद ऑल ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स टेल देन हैव अ गुड डे विल मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू